What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, it's your homie, Futuristic Mike, and I'm back with another For Life video if you're new. Make sure y'all leave your theories, comments, everything down below in the comment section. If you're a fan of For Life, if you love For Life, hit the like on this video. If you're new to my channel and this is the first time you're finding me, subscribe. Turn on those post notifications so you can always see when I'm dropping some content so you never miss any For Life news. Now, this is going to be my review for For Life Season 1, Episode 12, and it's titled Closing Statement. Um, this was a solid episode as well as last week's episode, but obviously last week's episode, episode 11, was better than this one. Um, like I said, last week's episode was pretty much the best episode of the season so far, and I don't think an episode's going to beat that one, except maybe if we get a season two, there might be an episode better, but that episode was so damn fire. So, after last week's riot in episode 11... For Life returns with a tense and action-packed episode as we witness the aftermath of what happened. Because you guys remember, um, there was a riot in the gym and Jamal got stabbed in the heart. Cassius got stabbed in the neck and just chaos broke loose. It was chaotic and all types of stuff happened. Everything that happens in this episode closes this episode in a climactic way. And that leaves things wide open for next week's finale. And I just can't wait. I absolutely can't wait to see what's going to happen, um, what's going to be the aftermath of all this. Will Aaron get out of prison? I'm just so ready to see what's going to happen. Before we get into this discussion, if you guys enjoy discussions like this, please be sure to give the video a like, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications so you can never miss any other uploads. Now, episode 12 begins with Sophia facing the music following the prison riot. You know, she's getting blamed for this, and she's probably going to get in trouble. Now, with four homicides and police swarming across the facility of the prison, she's forced to hand over the CCTV footage. And, you know, she has to give over all the footage of the gymnasium and everything else, saying nothing to the families affected outside the prison walls. She can't say nothing. Now, Darius goes ahead and calls Marie and Jasmine, who managed to get information about Aaron's condition for, from Sophia. At this point, Jamal is in critical condition and Cassius is unlikely to survive. But Sophia learns the truth about the riot from Aaron Wallace. Um, captain Foster comes under fire from the police. They all believe that the captain is held responsible for everything that happened in the riot. Um, they just believe that because the CCTV footage shows him letting Jamal go. Letting Jamal go past him um, into the gymnasium. And he even uh, patted Jamal down and felt that he had magazines strapped to him. And he still let him go in there. Now, as he's taken out by police in handcuffs, Sophia arrives in Aaron's cell and sees the notes from Jamal. Um, she puts it in her pocket. And then she sees that Jamal tried to warn Aaron. And now she knows that Aaron had nothing to do with it. And he was just rushing to the gym to try and save his friend. Now, she knows this. In the morning, Aaron is told to wait behind, given the prison is on lockdown but manages to relay the message onto Henry about his predicament. And you know, Henry's always there for him. Henry always helps him. I really like Henry in this show. Now, they're before the judge, and the prosecution manages to convince the judge a 24-hour continuance. Now, this is precious time for Aaron. He needs this time so bad, he desperately needs it. Now, Maskins learns about the prison riot, and he starts to spin this in his favor. Of course, he tries to spin it in his favor because it's all about Maskins. He doesn't care about anybody else, especially Aaron. He can give two Fs about Aaron. So, it starts with Cyrus back in prison, and he's replacing Sophia as the new warden. If you guys remember in the flashback episode, Cyrus was the warden way back when, and um, Sophia replaced him, and now Cyrus is coming back. So he immediately causes issues. He destroys the rehabilitation wing and replaces it with solitary confinement. And this man right here has issues. He's not trying to make the prison better. He's just making it worse. And as the inmates are thrown into the different cells, Aaron is transferred out to Rikers before things become too heated. Because he's getting transferred there, awaiting his trial. Um, he has to go to court. Um, Hassan visits Sophia in her office, and she tells him that the inmates will need will need him more than ever now um, because everything's so stressful. And, you know, Hassan is a big deal around the prison. He motivates people and he tries to keep people off drugs and everything. And that's why the inmates need him. So he mentions to Sophia that 
the, that rumor has it, Aaron was the one Jamal was supposed to go after, but Jamal played the system and hit Cassius instead. And we all knew Jamal was going to hit Cassius instead. He would have never did that to Aaron. Unfortunately, Aaron hits another roadblock and he's forced to be transferred back to Belmore and thrown into solitary. And this messes everything up for Aaron. Um, they take all of his stuff, all of his case files. Um, they take everything. Now, as things continue, Captain Foster actually kills himself um, when he realizes the other prospect he faces is jail. And I was so surprised at this. He really um, stuck a gun to his head or his mouth or whatever, and he pulled the trigger. And this was shocking. I didn't, I didn't know this was going to happen. I did not see it coming, but he killed himself. Now, Huey and Sophia meet in the aftermath of this, and they try to piece together the story. They know Dawkins was the one that caused all of this to happen. Now, Sophia blackmails Tom um, before her hearing, and she manages to get Aaron back into court. And that's one thing I like about Sophia. She's one real ass person. She's always having Aaron's back, and I really like that about Sophia. She does whatever she can to make sure he gets out of there. She's really supporting Aaron, and she has his back. Now, she also demands a replacement for Cyrus, because we already know Cyrus is a dirty bastard. He's a snake. She basically wants someone to replace Cyrus that um, can pretty much finish the work that she started and continue her work. Everything that she was doing around the prison, she wants that to keep going on. Now, as the episode is closing out, Aaron makes it into the courtroom for his trial, but things are left ambiguously open for how this one plays out. Um, Aaron does not get his way once again. Once again. He keeps hitting these roadblocks and everything keeps preventing him from getting out of jail. Um, it's like the DA has control over everything that's going on and it's really starting to piss me off. I just want to see my man Aaron Wallace make it out of jail. I feel so bad for him in this show. So the question is, will Aaron Wallace make it as a free man in the season finale? Another question is, is Jamal still alive? And also, what is Cassius Dawkins' fate? Will he live or will he die? What do you guys think? And also, who were the four men that died? Um, I think one of them was Wild Bill. What do you guys think? Who do you think were the other three? Comment down below and let me know. It appears to be Wild Bill, but I'm not sure. It also looked like a prison guard was killed. Hopefully we find out all this stuff in next week's episode. Hopefully we get all the answers to our questions. But how did you guys like this episode? Comment down below and let me know if you guys thought this was a good episode. I thought it was a pretty solid episode. But like I said, it wasn't as good as last week's episode. But it was still pretty good. I enjoyed it. Um, I was not bored. Of course, I'm never bored watching this show. But yeah, comment down below and let me know what you guys thought. Comment your theories, predictions, and everything else for next week's episode. It's going to be the series finale. Or not the series finale, but the season finale. Yo, that's crazy because it seems like we just started this show. So, it's real crazy, man, that we went through it this quick. Um, I hope Aaron gets out of jail. I hope things start to look up for him. I don't know what's going to happen. But comment down below and let me know what you guys think. And I'll be continuing to bring you guys more For Life content in the future. If you guys want to donate to the channel to help support the channel, I got links in the description to do so. If you guys could, that would seriously really help my channel. All the, all the money donated will go right into my channel. Um, it would be much appreciated. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and smash that notification bell so you can never miss a video. I'm going to get out of here, y'all. It's your boy Futuristic Mike, and I'll talk to you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.